very good afternoon friends the big question under gst on which a lot of litigations are there is whether gst interest is applicable on delayed filing of the gstr 3b return in case the itc and the cash is available in the electronic credit or cash ledgers on the gst portal consider a case where for the month of january 24 you have to file the gstr 3b return on 20th of february 24 the gst payable amount is 10 lakh your gst electronic credit balance is 8 lakh rupees and the balance in the electronic cash ledger is 2 lakh rupees earlier section 50 was retrospectively amended to provide that even in such a case say the gstr 3b is filed delayed by 25th of february 24 then no interest would be applicable to the extent of balance in the electronic credit ledger the question is that whether interest would be applicable when there is sufficient balance in the electronic cash ledger or not as in this case the answer is that there should not be a interest liability to the extent of balance in the electronic cash ledger also this is because of various reasons first section 39 of the cgst act requires that the gst should be paid to the government's account before filing the gstr 3b in the gstr 3b the gst paid needs to be disclosed only the moment you pay the gst and deposit it in the electronic cash ledger on the gst portal then the rbi credits the government's account and the government can utilize such money explanation a to section 49 and section 49 11 clarify this aspect too it would be disastrous in case the government was not allowed to use the money in the electronic cash ledger and even the gst collection figures which we report and we see are reported every month that is 1.6 lakh crores collection 1.7 lakh crores collection in a month that includes the money which is deposited in the electronic cash ledger also therefore the government can utilize the money in the electronic cash ledger and there is no monetary loss to the government even if the taxpayer files gstr 3b belatedly this was held by the honorable madras high court in the case of icha motor very recently this judgment contradicts the other high court judgments which have gone against the taxpayer even though going forward the department can challenge this judgment in the supreme court under the shelter of rule 61 which provides that the gst liability would be discharged the word used is discharged only by filing the gstr 3b while further litigation in this matter is a possibility yet this is a big relief from the various litigations and demands in this regard which various taxpayers have got across the country hope this update is helpful for you please do like share and subscribe to this channel stay tuned thank you very much